Thanks for staying with us. Joining us now to read some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world are Rise News Analyst Emmanuel Efeni and Aisha Boale. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon, Cynthia. Good afternoon, Good afternoon Vimbai. Afternoon, Good afternoon, Dayo. Good afternoon. Yeah, we'll start the review with this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record. The lead story, CDK, Atiku accuses Tinubu of conflict of interest, alleges son's affiliation with Shagori. Says she is a director in Shagori subsidiary company. Slams federal government declares FDI can't come through propaganda. Former Vice President Atiku Abubakar. Yesterday, of course, issued a statement again. Well, playing the role of leader of the opposition. Yes, it's different this time. And the accusation is that uh, there's conflict of interest, especially as it relates to the Lagos Calabar um, Highway, Coastal Highway, uh, because Tinubu Son is a director in the company called CKD, CDK Integrated Industries, which is a subsidiary of the Chagori uh, <coughs> Group owned by, of course, Gilbert Chagori. Well, the business connection with, between uh, Ola Ahmed Tinubu, before he became president, and, of course, the Chagori, I think is something that is well documented uh, over time. And um, with Chagori Group playing a key role in this project, the company that's handling the project, of course, is a Chagori firm, high tech, right? And of course, Atiku Abubaka highlighting this that there is conflict of interest. Mm. Dio. Well, obviously, if it is true that, that there is conflict of interest, if it is true, but then you should look at competence now. Chaguri. Yeah. They, are not, they did not drop from the skies, they were here before. I think they went away, but they came back. Remember, they military, they've been doing contracts here. So if they are competent to do it, yes. If you are Tinubu's son, he's a director in a subsidiary company, I think let Tinubu defend himself now. Or he has a press team, let him assert it. But if uh, a president's son is involved in a subsidiary of a contractor doing government work, that could be conflict of interest. Mark, I'm glad you said could, because, could, I mean, yes. Shea is not in office, so he doesn't owe us anything. Yes. But um, <clears throat> it may be unethical, but yeah. it's not illegal. At all. It's, it's not even... Uh, maybe unethical. It's not even, well, not even unethical. Uh, it's not a matter of even conflict of interest now. Um, they should ascertain the role, the, the, the relative or you know, the son, the is, son playing. is playing there, so as not to be charged with nepotism. Well, I mean, if it is uh, uh, a professional technical role, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, like they said about the CJ, whose son became, uh, a, was literally appointed the judge. Eh. They don't just appoint people judges overnight. There are criteria for doing that, and it's a journey, it's a career path. So let them do due diligence on this. Well, or let us wait for the reaction of uh, the uh, uh, the presidency yes, of the Tinubu family. <laughs> so, no, this Tinubu, so, you see, the Tinubu family is not in power. Well, Have you voted for Tinubu? No, Bubba because uh, they are the president. Is his son they are going to But the president, I'm sure the presidential spokesman will have something to say on that. Well, so let's wait for it. Well, don't also forget that one of the allegations which uh, this also need to deal with is that there was no competitive bidding. No, that, one, that, one, <laughs> that one has been clear by Umahi. That's uh, it's like, see, on that, uh, Atiku is reverting back to uh, an old issue. Umahi did a thorough press conference on this. Go and read it. That there was uh, competitive bidding? No. Who are the other no, companies no, that bidding? On, uh, on the bidding, you see, um, 
Atiku has moved now from trying to stop the construction, you get me? And Umayi responded. Now he has moved from that now to Tinubu's uh, family. Can't you see the sequence? Well, well, Although it is opposition politics, well, he, he, he has risen. Let us, uh, let us, has risen let us, he, issues. Let us try to be as objective as possible. He is not the stopping issue. the project. The project is going on. He can't stop but it. He, but he has raised a number of issues. Just like yeah. uh, uh, our own Leila raised issue of uh, um, yeah, yeah, EIA. Let the, the government you know? address it. It's not as if he wanted to stop the project. But no, these are best the practices. Yes. Because he, that you have an not em environmental bar. impact assessment of a project. You cannot stop. And it's, when the minister not could the not produce that, and you started looking at other issues, claiming to be a village boy and all that, you know? Well, anyway. let's, let's move on to other stories. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, if we just look at uh, the Vanguard newspaper, yes, the Vanguard newspaper, if you put the Vanguard newspaper up there, yes. Local Vanguard. firms, IOCs, uh, to bid for 12 <laughs> onshore, <laughs> seven deep offshore oil blocks. Yes, as federal government woos investors in OTC 2024. Of course, the government um, putting forward that there are 12 onshore and seven deep offshore oil blocks therefore investors to bid for and uh, i'm sure when that bid is open there will be a lot of uh, investors from outside the country from with the lo uh, local businessmen nigerian businessmen who will be interested in bidding for this uh, so it's part of well advertised yes. appropriate well uh, it's been taken to otc which is a, a forum where oil companies uh -huh. oil majors from across the world uh, they come and uh, look at uh, what's happening in the industry. So it's a good place to take uh, this um, advertisement, yes, if you will, yes. to. Yes, because Atiku is saying that, um, of course, if you look at the Daily Sun newspaper, uh, still on the Atiku story, uh -huh. uh, Nigeria should apologize no, to Indigo. That's the one, yeah, but that's the lead story there. Atiku mocks Tinimbu, says propaganda can't attract foreign direct investment insists a word of coastal road contract to Shagori constitute conflict of interest. Of course, that story is also on the front page of Abuja Inquirer. Inquirer. Again, Atiku attacks Tinimbu as Ohanese seeks Umai Ubi dialogue. Yeah, the Eastern Brothers, you want to say? <laughs> well, but let's just move on over to other stories. The Guardian newspaper. Banks, other shop for over three trillion from broke investors lean market of course in a bid to meet the new threshold for banks eh, they will they will have to go um, looking for investors and of course uh, first bank will be looking for 300 billion naira to meet up uh, that that uh, threshold for tier one banks while Stambi will be looking for 150 billion, Fidelity will be looking for 32 billion, Access 355 billion, and of course, uh, others. Um, yeah, of course, uh, the story, another story on front page of uh, the date of uh, the, Guardian. the Guardian. Northern leaders, NPP, won federal government against defense pact with US France. France. Uh, Dio, yeah. uh, having a base, U.S. base in Nigeria, Russian base in, across the border in Niger. Will that not be a superpower politics playing just around the corner? Nigeria has always been a non-aligned nation, and that has been the, 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 the fulcrum of our foreign policy. I think you should stay that way. Well, it should, it should be non-aligned, but that is on paper. Literally, almost ECOWAS states have one form of intervention, yeah. military by United well, States security personnel on our soil. On that note, I wish we could take the conversation further, but unfortunately our time is far gone. Mr. Daya Shobole, Mr. Emmanuel, if any, thank you so much for taking us through today's. Episode.